What is going on, y'all? How y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good here. So they're playing some more Gunsmith Simulator. Now I had recorded another episode of this video of this, but um, I lost it due to audio issues. I had um, been playing around with some audio stuff, and some of those things I played around with didn't go into effect until after I restarted my computer, so I didn't realize it. And when I went to record, it sounded like echoey shit. So. Here we are. I'm gonna be. I'm. Um. I, what I did in the last video wasn't that much. I got into buying and selling, buying uh, weapons off the year on the bid, uh, fixing them, fixing them up, upgrading them, painting them, and uh, selling them for more profit. So I've been doing that, and I just got an email from um the grand uh, from the uh, grandfather again. It's me, your grandpa again. I got another weapon as promised. You will need to work with sandblasting cabinet and um, bluing station to rem to remember. Uh, to always in gloves and protect your suit. Awesome, you have to learn how to do that. So, AKM, alright, cool. Here we are, awesome. Oh, I did a um, uh, AKM um, uh, earlier, I mean, the last one, uh, that I made it all cherry wood with uh, gold plated. It was pretty cool. Or gold paint. Anyways, yes, work on AK. Take it down. Take out the magazine. Take out that um, butt plate of the magazine there. Take out the spring. Take that on that out there. Take out the uh up there, alright. Now we gonna take out the pistol, uh get that screw there. I've taken my AK down several times. I've had to change out the furniture for a cherry wood furniture. And uh it is not you know how uh AR guys like to say, Oh, I built my AR. Like, no, you did not. You assembled your AR. Uh unless you had to pull out a drill or some shit, you did not build it. <laughs> I mean, most of the time when you do anything to an AK, you gotta get a riveter. And luckily, um, uh, I did not have to do that. I just had to drill a hole in the stock. I had uh, the, um, the bottom uh, foregrip here was um, too big. I'll show that here in a second. This piece um, uh, right here, this little lip right here was too big. It wouldn't fit in, so I had to take a wood file to it. Uh, we've got that. Now I got the, uh, the trigger thing there. All right. See, in the last thing I did, I didn't have to. Take, I didn't take any of this down. It was weird. It didn't have me take any of the sugar stuff out. It was very strange. I guess there's nothing needed to clean. I guess. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, this has, <laughs> makes more sense here. The last one, it only had me like take care of the main pieces and like the grouping and left all the sugar and stuff inside. It was kind of strange. Take out the stock. Yep, there we go. These two screws here. I had to drill these two holes right into the stock. And those holes were not there. Well, actually, the stock I have now is a Magpul stock holder. Those kind of had screws. But the stock I had before that, I had to screw them in myself. Take out the uh, gas tube up there. That's what that's called. Uh, take out that. The bolt. And the bolt carrying group. It comes off there. I guess it does. Not sure why you would need to do that, but okay. What's next? Gas? Oh, yeah, yeah. The piston comes off? Okay. You know, and everything here. Got a little lever there comes off. That should have came off already, though. But I guess knit forward, and then you, um, uh, you latch, it, latch it back to, uh, lock that one piece back in place. Now the barrel is usually I'm uh, riveted in or pinned in, so it's kind of interesting. All right, got it all down. All right, cool. Yeah, we just got it. I'm uh, rust. This this is rusted, and then these rust. This is good. So okay, I'm clicking. Oh yeah, go to the uh, the uh, the sand blaster first. All right. Okay, yep. Yeah. Arm that. Power. Light. Dust collector. Brand this. All right. All right. New skill, Matt metal working. All right, cool. And I come over here, and this is where you add the bluing. Okay, yes. Place the gas tank. Oh, uh, yes. What's in here? Okay. All 
Oh wait, this way. All right. All right. Throwing gloves and stuff. All right. Firm. All right. To hear all these processes here. Okay. There's a lot of second rinse. Okay. Rinse parts in hot water. All right. Uh, oxidation fuel take out. Okay. Yeah. Leave for now. Uh, yes. Just got to, okay, okay I take them up. Now I'm done. Okay, cool. I'm just going here. Now I can move. Okay. I need to clean anything? No, I don't, I don't need to clean up. All right, cool. Now take this though and wash everything up here. Pull everything up. I mean, damn, all this gonna be put back together. This is gonna take forever. All right, that's all done. Finish work. This back in the crate. I think. All right. Or no, we ain't doing it. Uh, paint gun. Alright, cool. Just take their paint and make your gun beautiful. Alright, cool. We can do that. Let's, um, um, now let's go over here. We can do this. Create new. Let's go with this solid. Ooh, let's go with this right here. I like that right there. Okay, create with that. Cool. And, um, uh, create a new color. I want solid. I don't want uh, goldish color here. There we go. That's good. Yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Awesome. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One piece missing right there. Finish work. Yes. Nice. Test gun. Alright, cool. We can go test it. Um, um, oh, we gotta test it over here. I got you. Okay, we gotta, um, uh, load. Engage safety. Let's get Alright, cool. Finish. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And some points. No, I do not, but... See? Uh, mail. Yeah, here. Send back to client. How do I do that? How do I get back to customer services? Uh, send back. Also, now we got points to work with. Uh, back. Skills. Let's work on the, um, um... Screwdriving, probably better. And some, the oiling, too. Here we go. Awesome. Now, see we got in the, um, um... Mail, let's see. Great job. The AK the weapon looks amazing. So grateful you're doing it and send my weapon to someone who is passionate about them as much as me. Good luck and hopefully soon I'll have some, something more to show you. Cool. We'll learn more things as we go along. Uh, let's see what we got for sale here. We can buy and fix up. That's your new grand. And I'm not wasting money on factory new stuff. We can, uh, we can make it paint it and everything. Ooh, beautiful Makarov 400. A Luger in good condition or a damaged peacemaker. We can go with it. See, um... Hmm. Hmm. Fresh QBZ. That's kind of. All, all I can do with that is paint it. Really, I'm looking for stuff I can fix up and make it look better, and make some money off of it. You know. So let's grab, grab the damage piece breaker. Something easy we can do. All right, cool. We got it for 400. Nice. I think so. No one else bidding on it. Awesome. Oh wait. No one else bidding on it. Last second. Damn. Come on now. Jian Zoon. Fuck. Yeah, now I'm by some rooftop Koreans here. <laughs> now that sounds more Chinese there. They might come from Asia. Um, 
Getting to buy a gun coming to America. Nice. Good for them. Can't buy that shit in Asia. For sure. Definitely not in China. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Most of the world you can't buy guns, so America's one of the only few places you can, so. I mean, not as, you know, there's not many countries like as free about buying guns as you can, you know. England, you have to get on guns, some guns, you have to, shoot, you have to leave them at your gun club and some bullshit, which is a piece of purpose from overthrowing uh, a tyrannical government, you know. Anyways, repair. Take this thing apart. We'll paint it up when we get to. This thing surprisingly, surprisingly has a lot of parts in this thing. I took one part in the last video, it took almost as long as the damn AK when it comes to taking it apart. It was pretty crazy. Got to replace um, uh, these here. And we got to clean those. Okay. We're going to clean what we need to clean first. Uh, leave for now. Confirm. Alright, awesome. Now we're going to buy the parts we need to buy. So. It went five something on the gun. Now another 415. God damn. That sucks. We're gonna lose money on this, I think. Okay, uh finish work. Let's take you over here. We're gonna go with some pearl on the um, um and uh create new. I'm gonna go with a um uh, solid. Yay. That's gonna be straight up like I'm gonna be like silver. Finish work. That's, oh, that's good. I'm trying to sell this, I guess. Anything else I can do to it? No, I don't think so. No one working I've learned yet. Nothing like that. No finishing. The bluing I can do, but that's about all I can do, really. So, no. Um, let's go ahead and, um, um now we, uh, let's sell. There we go. Open. Uh, we're, we're in about 900 bucks, so I'm gonna try 900. See if we can get, see if we sell for that much. Okay, there we go. Alright. Okay, cool. Get some bids. Nice. Not very big bids, but they're bids. Hopefully we're making grand out of it. Making, we're not making grand, but getting grand back. <laughs> Get make some money off of it anyways. And there it is, a thousand ten. Alright, cool. And that off. See thousand ten dollars. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anything new here? Got services we can uh, see ooh ooh, let's get a, let's get an import. Okay, cool. Good morning, my import is modified to be a bit longer. I think I don't feel comfortable with it, so I would like to change it to basic version. M4, nothing new, new or fancy. Thank you, and let's do that. A little dirty. All right. Let's see how I'm. Um, uh... All right. So you want some um, a shorty adjustable stock with change gun information? You need some change gun to be required. Okay. Uh, long uh, adjustable. Yeah, client. Here we go. Client wants that. Not that. Alright, cool. Alright, let's just start here. Take everything off here. Take that off. Take the magazine off. Probably should have done that first. We'll take the, um, uh... Here, we take the side off first. Why not? We'll take the, uh... These little pins here. These pins don't have to come out all the way. You know, separate the upper and lower. Take out the buffer tube. We have to take the, push a little pin there. Out. And... and I think the layers in the spring would just fly across the room at that point. That would be hilarious. Yeah, that spring just goes when you pull that little pin out. <laughs> it's not that uh, straightforward. I mean, that's definitely not that fucking straightforward. Come on now. That castle nut is not the easiest thing to take off. You need a castle wrench for that shit. I've done that with my in my lap. You need a uh, a um, vice. Get that shit off. I changed out the um, um I put I changed out this ring right here of mine for uh, I put a single point sling attachment onto it. Uh, where here we go? Get this out. Never taken that out before. That's new. Trigger uh, kind of drop in trigger for the most part. Not a full drop in, but you know.
Where is the next part? Yeah, I can get the, uh, the dust plate cover off on the charging handle. Get that out of there. That comes down and out. That's pretty cool. I like that. These people know what they're doing. All right. And then uh, what we got left now? We got to take this, uh, the muzzle break off. That little thing there off. Nobody using it really. Up there. Oh, I don't care for this site either. I'll have, I think I took that off mine. I'll take mine hands out. We got the uh, little piston tube thing there. Take off the quad rail. Taking that off. Taking that off. Taking the barrel out. Next we got, who we got here? Uh, front sight part. Oh, that, yeah. I don't see the point of taking that out. I really don't. I mean, if it's broken, I guess, but... But yeah, this part here, yeah, take this thing out. I'm gonna take that out a long time ago, but yeah. Fire this out, yep. And I've changed that out before. Changed that one out to a binary. Got the bolt. A little, um, uh... That out so the direct envisionment goes through this little uh, gas tube right yeah gas goes through there and then goes into this right there to push the bolt back uh on direct impingement where the hell is mine's turn on bolt okay Bolt out of the bolt carrier. All right. Fire for now. There. Okay. Ejection port cover. Yep. Looks like they've done it all the time ago. Okay. I've also changed this out. On my end. All right. Cool. We need to replace the uh, barrel. Shit. Long gas tube and extended quad. Okay. 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 We gotta buy some more parts. Okay. Yeah, sandblasting parts too, I think. Um, by the parts we need, um, parts, um, okay. And then under, <laughs> remove unnecessary parts, okay. Oh, this is unnecessary, that's right. Okay, now we can, um, uh, we can now even buy the parts we need. Barrel, there we go, three hundred dollars. We got better pay me well for this. Uh, short gas tube. Gas tube, one bucks, and quad rail hand guard. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's not it. Shit. Bye. Okay. Can you buy some stuff in here? Attachment shops? No, I don't think so. Okay. You can grab this out of here. Grab this out of here. Alright. Confirm. I right, clean this stuff here. In the lower, and clean this thing here. Upper tube. The hammer. Handle. Yeah. Grip. Lower receiver. That's upper receiver. That's ain't a lower receiver. That's the upper receiver. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Extractor. And the injection port cover.
14.5 inch barrel. This guy better have a tax stamp. <laughs> You throw the stock on here and becomes illegal. Where is uh? I guess I must be an FFL. <laughs> I don't know because I mean I, I would have to be I guess from buying and selling gun and shit. But I mean to make a uh, gun with a uh, short barrel rifle without a tax stamp. You know the feds gotta get their damn money worth. I don't give a shit about safety, I just want to get money out of it. Anyways, um, she back, put the charging handle back in there. Go. Tax stamps are just a form, form of extortion. Okay, here we go. Plan if I had to fill out paperwork for a um, uh, FFL. <laughs> we know FFL, but for a um, uh, tax stamp for this, I mean, hilarious. I mean, I wish I could send my AR to a black to a um, uh, gunsmith. Say, hey, make this SBR for me. You know. I mean, I can do it myself if I wanted to, but I need some. Um, I have to. Um, uh, Probably registered in the damn 14 half inch barrel. <laughs> Unless, of course. Well, that's 14 half inch barrel. I mean, it's. No, no, no. It's a master barrel. Yeah. Because the uh, legal uh, um, uh, size is 16 inch. So I'm like, hmm. It's not lining up here. Oh, well, that's going to go there. Okay. Yeah, that's going to go there. Two in there. Alright, cool. Finish work. Send them back there. That's good. Alright, how much money do we get from that? $125. Some bullshit. I put more than that in parts. Oh, you paying for the parts. Okay. Let's say. Some bullshit. Alright, we got guest services. Uh, yes. Yeah, send back. Awesome. Some parts there. Uh, skills. Let's do some more uh, screwdriving. More points. There we go. Be faster screwdriving. All right. Cool. What we got here? Uh, ben was we buy and fix up broken M9 M5 Nano A factory new AKM. Uh, identify an identify Pepesh. Uh, or ooh Pepesh. Okay, M5. That's a shotgun there. Let's get Pepesh. Let's get that. Fit on that. Who is Rusty? Sandblast is coming out for this one, I think. Take out. Let's take this thing apart. It is not looking in good condition right now. Uh, we want to put the uh, classic or classic with uh, tangent rear sight. Let's do that one, yeah. Take the drum out. Take this little screw this thing out. Pin there. All right, cool. We got uh, unnecessary rear sight, rear sight stuff. Okay, broken receiver barrel and uh, missing. We got a lot of shit missing and rusting. Okay, okay. Necessary sight. There we got my new sight. It's gonna be expensive as hell. This is gonna be expensive as a gun. God damn, four hundred eighty dollars. I mean, like fifteen hundred by now. Fifteen, sixteen hundred by now. Yeesh, I just get the parts out. You know, this, um, uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and get, um, um, the sandblaster thing going here. Confirm. Power. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. Go in here next. And buy more parts, apparently. Uh, I missed some, uh, rear sight holder, okay. Alright, now we put it back together. I right, gotta finish. I'm, um,. Let's see, uh, finish work. Let's go into, um, uh, painting here. But well, that's kind of cool right there, I think. 
Yeah, I like this. I like this. Finish work. Looks good. Looks good. We can probably sell this for a new, new, new bit. Let's test out the gun first. We could shoot this first. Let's go shoot this first. Yeah, I forgot. We can go to the gun range and we shoot stuff. I did that in the last one. I, never, I just kind of forgot about it. Ooh, this is all nice and shiny and stuff, too. Alright, cool. Alright. Go ahead and, uh, do this close up here. Because this is not meant for, uh, long range at all here. Alright. Go full out of here. Yeah. <laughs> The cool is pretty realistic right here. Ah. <laughs> Alright, let's head back. A lot of fun. See how much we can sell this thing for. Uh, bid, sell, upload, open. Uh, we start, we got, what, 1100 we spent, no, no, 400, let's do 1500. So, do we have any bidders on it or not? We do right away, okay, not much, but some. In 12, G18, I guess it's gonna sell for 1566, which is almost breaking even, really. Sadly, not breaking even, I think. It kinda sucks. Alright, there we go. Alright, we got some new points unlocked here. Uh, let's go rust rust for sure. We're pointing that, because that was taking a little bit to do. Alright, yeah, about $3,750. But, um, uh, guys, that's going to have to be it for this um, uh, one here. If y'all liking this series and this video, make sure y'all squoosh that like button. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And select the notification bell for future videos coming out just like this one. And y'all, y'all have an awesome day.